guys. Welcome back to the Star Card Tarot. I am here uh, to do a reading on May Maya Millet. Uh, she is a woman that went missing on the 7th in Chula Vista, California. Guys, please remember to like, share, subscribe, turn on those post notification bells so that you guys are updated each and every time I bring videos. Also, please remember to turn on those bells. Wow. Please remember to make sure that you, when you do click that bell, you are cl clicking so that they do notify you. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to keep the cards because they came out. Alright, guys. Let's see what we got. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, we are going to do our star spread here and you saw as soon as I started shuffling we had some cards come out so we're gonna have a little snoring maybe in the background because uh, <laughs> I'm doing this a little late um, so again so we're gonna start with temperance in the reverse six of wands eight of cups King of Wands, the Hangman, Nine of Cups, Star Card, Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. King of Swords. Let me move my mouse out of the way here. Try to put them together. Give us more cards. Knight of Swords. The Tower. I'm sorry about the snoring, guys, but hey, this, I can't do anything about <laughs> about that right now. Sorry. Alright, let's get a clarifying deck. Somebody was in love with somebody else here, honey. The person was, they had money. There maybe had investments. I'm just hearing that. But I see that here too. There's a lot of cups here. Temperance right out the gates. Eight of Cups. Oh, thank you. Wait a minute. Okay, so we're going to take those on the Eight of Cups. They flipped over. Those we're putting back. Nine of Cups. God, so many cards. Six of Wands, please. Ones. 
how that's going to come across. I'm a car because... King of Swords. King of Swords. Sorry, thank you so much. One more card. One more card for the King of Swords. Please. Thank you. Alright, guys. Let's go. This. Alright. Just let me look at the board, please. Like I was saying earlier, someone, um, was lusting after someone else. Um, someone was probably maybe mixing or vibing with somebody on the side that they really connected with, um, is what I'm getting something I'm hearing something about job I don't know if it's somebody that somebody works with or something all right so um, it's a temperance clarified by the lovers the wheel of fortune the six of swords and the queen of swords all right Mia. Okay, um, there was some type of, uh, maybe, like I said in the beginning, um, I think that somebody was moving towards another connection, um, meaning, in other words, they probably were dating someone um, someone on the side and like I said um, it appears that they connected or they're connecting uh, with this this individual um, this is something that's been it probably discussed between the two about uh, possibly moving towards one another and um, it could be some sense of lusting and yearning um, to be with somebody more than than you are now, um, wanting that closeness that mo maybe that that family type feel uh, with that person is what I'm getting. Um, you have the Eight of Cups here, clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, the Knight of Cups in the reverse, the Magician. The Six of Cups in the reverse. And the Two of Wands in the reverse. Again, um, you have somebody here that's work... Well, not working towards, but pretty much disconnected. I'm going to use that word from the relationship, I feel. Um, there was a sense of urgency to move away. And this is probably something that they've been... trying to bring bring to per uh, pro <laughs> fruition I can't I cannot get the word out guys this is something that they've actually um, been wanting to happen in other words this is something that they've probably worked on um, as far as what and how to move about doing what they want and about how to go about getting to the actual individual that they were really wanting to to be 
um, in a relationship with or a situation with um, yeah that's what I'm getting from that let's see here so you have the nine of cups that wish clarified by the nine of cups again the tower in reverse the fool temperance the four of cups and the devil so again you have somebody that's the, the fool is here ready to jump hoops to get what they're really after um, it looks like maybe this person um, has and there's some sexual tension between the two um, this I, I get a lot I get like a lusty feeling from this reading as if somebody was lusting to be with somebody else maybe um, and they needed to do what was necessary in order to get to that person if I might say that's that's what I mean um, this person conjured that's probably what I meant here too seems like this person conjured up a way to um, they're trying to avoid a tower moment because we don't want things coming out that's where you're trying to avoid it but then again later if you recall remember our first deck of cards the tower was the last card that appeared there however um, this relationship or this situation ship that they've been holding with somebody else is going to be what's going to be uh, coming out that's pretty much going to give an eye opener or an insight about uh, what it is in the in the physical background what's really going on all right and so you have the six of wands here clarified by the seven of swords the ten of swords the page of pinnacles and the eight of pinnacles again you've got somebody that's been sitting here working um, you've got a situation where the relationship was ending um, there were secrets uh, there weren't any plans to move forward with one another um, in, in other words you you already had somebody being sneaky here and then you had another person in the relationship feeling as if once they've been stabbed in the back and then you've got another person working on moving forward and they could have been working on moving forward with someone from the past as well um, that could be um, an issue that may spark up or come up later um, involving this situation the other person might be somebody that is actually physically known alright so now we have the king of wands here clarified by the hierophant the ace of wands in the reverse judgment in the reverse and the king of wands in the reverse okay we got a card that dropped I'll get it in a second this is two of the king of wands somebody wanted to be in control of the other person so bad they wanted to have that authority that overhead over the entire situation knowing that the marriage was over the relationship wasn't going to get any better and here you have judgment never not coming quick enough not coming quick enough for the person that's feeling like they've been done wrong um, or the person that's feeling like things should things shouldn't have gone this way um, as if everything has went left and they have no control over the situation okay um, so we do have the star card here 
clarify by the Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Don't get me wrong, inside of the relationship, one of them still, they still had a care. A care whether or not things ended because they were, you know, anticipating, was looking at what was going to be lost. Uh, probably looking at, you know, the family being dissolved, the marriage being dissolved. And, but at the same time, there were still arguments. They were trying to keep faith and still trying to hold on at the same time still feeling down and out about the process things not moving things not progressing things not getting better inside of the relationship feeling as if there was a sense of moving further apart in a way um, from each other you've got the tower clarified by the world the Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Emperor. Here is your situation. That's a couple. That's a couple that sat out on a journey. The other person not sure if they knew about the involvement about actions of the other but they wanted to share their worlds together they were excited about each other the only way of doing that was to bring a tower moment the only way of bringing that together or being able to move forward or being able to go on with one's life or with their relationship or their lastationship because that's what I'm going to call this. I feel like a lot of, it's a lot of sex. It's like some type of sexual energy um, was also something that was involved in this situation. Um, some type of sexual, it, intense at that. So, um, you know, when you, people have sex, it's sort of like some people are just really, really freaky. I believe that, you know how a Jezebel can really hypnotize you with, with some stuff with the same thing for men um it's something that sometimes people get hypnotized to um when having intercourse or because you're you're, you're switching souls you're actually one second please sorry about that guys <laughs> guys i'm sorry 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 about the snoring okay but like i was saying there there's a lot of like an intense intensity of feeling of this person having a lust for the other person there's somebody here that one or the other was interested in they were inter so interested into this individual that they wanted to be next to them the only way of doing that was to get rid of somebody Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. That's the intensity I'm feeling here is if something was connected sexual. But not only that, they saw this as being able to move along with somebody that they saw fit financially for them. And that they saw fit as far as when it came to loving. Um, loving on them or making love with them. Um, that's what I'm getting. And that's what I got when I first saw the cards laid down on the table. Um... It just seems like somebody was rushing the universe, um, trying to get to, to the next to the next individual, trying to get next to somebody else. So you have the Knight of Swords here, um, clarified by the Sun, the Four of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. There was definitely some frustration definitely feeling as uh, they were blindfolded as if they were trapped not knowing that they could walk out of the situation um, there was probably well we do know that there was children involved that's showing up here children and marriage um, involved it sounds like again this is something that was rushed rushed because there was lust in somebody's soul within themselves um, 
of, of wanting to go and progress themselves is what they were actually seeing when it comes down being selfish um, a selfish sense so you have the ten of Pentacles clarified by the page of cups the five of wands in the reverse the knight of swords the king of cups and the page of Pentacles maybe one person was worried about what it, their relationship ending would do to their finances you do have the page of Pentacles here where it could have been uh, an issue where the person or person took a while uh, before coming to this but this is something that they they stayed up about something that worried them um, something that they weren't able to let go something that left them frustrated um, and definitely always in the the hindsight but it seems like they got tired of arguing um, t tired of trying to be the be the nice guy or the nice female in this tired of trying to hand somebody something that they didn't really want um, trying to give cups that that people weren't accepting um, not trying to make the changes within the relationship so we've got the hangman clarified by the seven of wands the seven of cups in the reverse and the two of cups I hear, I'm hearing the only way of elimination whatever that means I always tell y'all what I hear um, there is there was definitely choices There was definitely choices and competition. Hearing something about competition. I don't know, guys. Um, somebody was wanting to join someone else on a journey that they saw themselves um, they saw it as a new beginning coming towards them as if they were being handed something new something better um, being that they were pretty much um, net to, netted still together um, just to hold things you, you got one individual um, that felt as though it was taking away from them it was taking away from the freedom that they could have with this other individual um, because there's definitely another another person or even persons involved um, this could have been somebody that enjoyed sexual activity so they could have had more than one partner but there's somebody here that somebody else has some type of care for the type of nourishment um, that they would probably the other person would probably want to see back inside of the relationship and that just was not sparking um, I believe this person had gotten maybe to a point where they were lusting so much like I, I mean, I feel like it's so, like it's a sense of lust in this reading, y'all. I don't know. One second, let me get that card that fall. All right, guys, thank you. I'm sorry about that. And we got two more here, so. Um, uh oh. <laughs> sorry, guys, I forgot to place the mic back. So we've got the Ten of Cups, clarified by the Ten of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, somebody saw their Ten of Cups with someone else and the burden they had to remove. They had to get rid of the burden so that they're able to live their life here. You've got the Ten of Cups clarifying the Ten of Cups 
and you're being weighed down here weighed down with problems that you do not want problems and heavy loads that you want to definitely get rid of let me get my phone guys all right and then we have the king of swords clarified by the king of swords and the six of pentacles in the reverse an abrasive person somebody that was cold at the mouth somebody that definitely demands respect I'm hearing somebody that goes after what they want even if they gotta destroy something else or somebody else I'm hearing very abrasive 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 Let me see something, guys. My mouse out of the way. Spirit, do you have anything else on Mia? Do you have anything else on Mia, my Anything else, Spirit, that you want us to go over? Anything else that you need us to see? Y'all, they put out a lot of cards, and I just let them stay. And I'm kind of glad I did, because... That's what it is. Somebody check my phone. Somebody been lusting over some new life they want to chill. Uh -huh. Hearing something about choking. Choking. Alright, spirit. Anything else? I don't think that there is anything else. Okay. You've got the Empress in reverse. The King of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hangman in the reverse. And the Star in the reverse. this guy do for work what's what does he do for work something about job business um what does he do for work he might got some other stuff going on in the background too there might be some funny business going on in the background too i'm not gonna say what i'm hearing on that one um However, it, it there was no faith left inside of this relationship. No brightness was left or hope. Um, it seems like there was a sense of loominess, 
um, or sense of sadness that was surrounding uh, the situation. And so being that there was a, another person or individuals involved, it, it didn't leave room for the two to be able to connect, to try to function, to try to put things back together is, is what I'm hearing. Um, and so it sort of brought on a burden, a burden uh, because one person felt as if they were being held back from where they really wanted to go or what they really saw um, as moving forward and, and with another person. And what's one out of the way the other person would be able to, to move um, like how they needed to. Um, I'm hearing something about choking, um, if, the, if that makes sense or if it comes. So guys, I want to thank you so much for um, emailing me to do this reading, first of all. And thank you so much to all my day ones that have been here. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Um, my birthday is going to be um, on February 8th, so I'm thinking about going to Tampa. If you guys or anybody is in the area, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, maybe we're able to meet. I am um, going to be in the area. Or if you're familiar with any good restaurants in the area, um, please do share. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please remember to share, share this video as much as you can. Like, subscribe, turn on, and keep on those post notification bells so that you are updated each and every time I upload these videos. I love each and every one of you for watching. See you later, babes. Bye.